Yeah, and sometimes I feel like uh, there's just so many great ideas, you know, and and you know, sometimes I feel like society just pushes you to focus on one thing, right? And it's it's the idea of like the child, you know, the child can become anything, you know, all possibility, but at some point what becoming an adult means settling down and focusing on one thing. Yeah, I would say that's probably how most people see it. You know, that's been my experience at least. Uh, when I say I like to do all these different things, you know, it's usually a positive response, but then it's always, sometimes it comes down to, well, practically you're going to have to f- try to narrow it down into one thing or two things. Actually, it's mostly just like you need to focus on one thing as a conversation. You know, yeah. they, they try to push you towards that in some way. Like they don't directly say it, but they kind of indirectly like say, hey, or they try to encourage you to let go of these things that you used to do that you still enjoy. That's just how it's like all wired in the world or, you know, and it makes sense because it's the most practical, simplest approach to life. It's not for everyone. I mean, Leonardo da Vinci was a polymath and, you know, he wasn't rich or anything, but he did a lot of things that made him happy and he lived a really interesting life. And yeah. You know, and I, I think that's, know. that's what, that's what one should aspire to, right? Live an interesting life to to what what makes you blissful right you know for him it was you know discovering and innovating you know and and i think a person's success cannot be just solely on how much money they made right i'm constantly in in my head you know creating stuff to where i can't be in the present moment when i'm with family and and i just you know something that they say triggers something in my head. And I just started creating all these ideas or thinking about, you know, Oh, I need to send this text message so I can do this and later on. And- I'm a filmmaker. I do that all the time. I'm thinking about future film projects. I'm thinking about envisioning it in my mind before I make it. That's, that's what all creative artists do. Like you, me, you know, envision things in your mind and think in the future of how you're going to do it to create. So, and I don't know if you you've had this experience happen before, but you know you have this idea, and you're like, man, this is such a great idea. I need to take action. But you have so many responsibilities that yeah, yeah, you, you just can't. Yes, and then that's when I, that's why I write it down. Like all the film stuff, I have a whole journal full of film ideas that I write them all in when I know I can't do it now. And often my scripts take a year or so to write because the ideas don't all come at once. They'll come at the most random times. The most inconvenient of times and so i just write it down in this journal and that's fixed that problem of trying to worry about it all the time i do that for philosophical ideas too i have a whole filing cabinet full of journals and philosophical ideas that just kind of come up or scientific ideas that come up and as my gifted and talent teacher told me uh, when i was in elementary school a long time ago i was overwhelmed back then in elementary school thinking about all this stuff i wanted to do and i was getting frustrated because i couldn't do it right then and there mm, yeah because, you know, I'm an elementary school student. <laughs> so <laughs> said she gave me the, my mom the best advice that I still carry around, as I'm telling you now, to this day is the journals. She said, just have them write it down. And it got rid of that anxiety. For everyone, Not everyone wants to study the world. Not everyone wants to study everything. Some people are happy just doing one thing. And, of course, I can't understand it necessarily because that's not who I am. I, I like to study everything from science to philosophy to art. I like it all. So it's hard for me to understand that because I'm my brain is not wired that way. You know, yeah, my brain's yeah. wired for curiosity, for learning everything. And, and at, at some point I thought everyone had this. this yeah, same here. This, yeah. Right? Sorry, I, I, I thought that everybody just innately wanted was curious about life and right. and it was that human nature that it was human nature to 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 just be curious about the world and and create ideas and sort that sort of thing but then uh, i think it was more 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 in the sense of college where i discovered that oh shoot not everyone can create things you know just out of nowhere you know that sort of thing not everyone's interested in multiple things you know either yeah yeah i think about my life and then i think about you know so many areas that I want to grow into because right now, for example, I have dance, right? I'm, I'm learning how to salsa dance and bachata. <laughs> uh, and then I, I also have my endeavors in balloon art right. and then in music. Right. And then 
also in philosophy and spirituality and wanting to do, you know, a, a master's and then a PhD program. How, how do I merge them all? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's what I struggle with so much. And this, this might turn into a separate podcast that we added later. In- yeah, we can cut it off. This podcast is like the polymath podcast for it. Cause me and you are kind of similar in that regard. I feel like, um, cause I'm like the same way, man. I'm so frustrated because I wish there was more time in the day. I actually had to give up music because I used to like playing music and maybe someday I'll have time again, mm-hmm. but I had to, I haven't played music or guitar or piano in like almost a year now, maybe. And I still have all of that stuff. And I I've composed my own music. I've written my own music. My piano teacher's like impressed. She's like, wow, I never had a student like just start composing so early or just like that. Mm-hmm. So I know I have it in me. I have the ability to do great things with music, but I just don't have the time. And like, cause I'm doing this counseling thing right now and I'm building that up and that's, it's really, that's my main career path, but I'm also doing filmmaking on the side right now. And that takes enough time by itself. Those two things. Yeah. I have all these books that I want to read on my bookshelf about philosophy, science, physics, parallel universe, mm. metaphysics, theology, yeah. legal stuff, and all different topics. And I'm finally starting to have time to read again, but then uh, some days I'm just so tired because it's been such a long day of just work and, other responsibilities i just don't have time to read like i want to but i'm trying and to sometimes be- we, we would like to believe that we can do it all right like, yeah i was like oh today you know what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create this like artwork with balloons and then after that what i'm gonna do is you know i'm gonna read and then we're gonna record the podcast and then i'm gonna uh write exactly. some music and it's like and then before you know it, the day's gone or your energy's gone like, yeah this painting i've been this oil pen i've been working on like that's awesome, bro. Thanks, man. Yeah, I can't. The inspiration just kind of left me. You know, I got it and I got it all out. But I don't know what else to add to it. And maybe I'll figure that out later. Maybe I'll add stuff. You know, and and, I, I and a lot of people do that. Like a lot of polymaths, you know, they <laughs> they they leave a subject. They go dwell into whatever subject that they they catches their attention at that moment. But then when they come back into that new piece or that old piece they are able to see it in different light, you know, yeah. because they've experienced different things or learned about something different. And so when they come back to it, they're just able to appreciate it more, or maybe add some other things to it. Yeah, Leonardo da Vinci did that a lot. We go back to paintings, I think I told you, because I read the virus, the book on the virus, and I won't.